uh, prior to the game and uh, showing his solidarity uh, for not just the Falcons, but for the NFL in general. And uh, he continues to demonstrate what a class act he is. And uh, for all the players and staff and coaches, we really appreciate him. Uh, on to the game. We knew this was going to take all day, and uh, for damn sure it did, and uh, almost into extra. Um, Brian Poole at the end really, you know, made the heads up play where it wasn't quite in. He had to get the guy down at that point uh, to have another chance to go in battle. And I think those are the type of plays that demonstrate who we are as a group and how hard they want to strain in battle. I was really proud of the defense. Uh, they had to really show some resilient stops today, and uh, there were some on the turnovers. Uh, but they had to come up and make stops at the end uh, to battle. Now, it took it all the way down at the end, but uh, I was really pleased with them uh, having some stops at the end. Uh, the kickers tonight were on fire, and I thought it was turned back to clock night uh, on their side, and our long kicks, Matt and, and uh, Fair on the other side, were just on it. Um, but today, it was about the ball, and we knew that was, when you are minus three, it's really difficult to win. Um, and so for that part, we know we can get a lot of that cleaned up. I was certainly, uh, admired our team's toughness, uh, the effort that they play with, and uh, we feel like we got much to clean up on for us to play at our best. So with that, glad to open it up to your questions uh, regarding a hell of a finish. Yeah, Coach, um, the two replays uh, swung 14 points away. Sanus, what did you all see on that? And on the uh, final one, the, uh, the knee down, that's automatic replay view. Correct. So the one with Mo, we really thought that he had got the ball across. And uh, so the guys upstairs, Jerome Henderson was the one who was really on first. And he said, hey, he got the ball across. And at that point, uh, we felt like it was worth taking a shot at. He had a, a good enough view at it. And uh, that's really the process we go through. Jerome's the one in the press box that, that uh, assists me, especially with replay. And then at the end, um, we thought maybe that would be the case as he went down and uh, we approached the official to say, okay, there was eight seconds with no timeout, so what will happen? And of course, you know, that would be the runoff and that's where it would go to. So um, I did ask him that as we went. Was that an automatic review or did you have to It was an automatic one because they ruled it a score. So every scoring play was automatic. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't have been able to challenge that one. And it seemed like at least a few players that I spoke to so far were not aware of the the runoff. Were you immediately aware? Of We've shown it uh, to the team as an injury timeout. There was one, I believe, with uh, Tampa, uh, maybe about three or four years ago. So we know what the 10-second runoffs are, you know, on a moving clock, and uh, that's one that uh, we didn't cover, you know. But uh, most of the ones we talk about are, uh, you know, like an injury in a two-minute when you have no timeouts, you're on offense or defense. Like our last timeout, I believe, was taken when Ricardo uh, was injured, and that was within two minutes. So they were able to use the timeout there and not, you know, the, the delay. And can you just talk about your range of emotions from leading the whole game and then seemingly losing it again to suddenly that happening? It was pretty calm. No, <laughs> honestly, uh, it was uh, it was a battle for it, and uh, I was disappointed, you know, that we were, you know, had some of the turnovers. I thought that was a real factor in this one. And then at the end, can we just keep standing up to go battle for it? So when I saw him score at the end, I was disappointed that I thought the guys really strained. And uh, then when you saw the replay, it was really clear, uh, you know, the way that the rule was written. Uh, and Rich was one that, you know, discussed that with me. Working on his takeoff pregame.